Benefits of Vitamin K for Newborns Every newborn needs to get vitamin K through injections. The benefit of vitamin K is that it helps the blood clotting process and prevents bleeding that can occur in babies. Newborn babies have very little amount of vitamin K in their bodies. Though vitamin K is needed in the process of blood clotting. That is why, babies who are deficient in vitamin K are prone to bleeding. If not prevented, this condition can harm the baby. One of the causes of low levels of vitamin K in the newborn's body is the undeveloped good bacteria that produce vitamin K in the baby's intestines. In addition, this condition also occurs due to intake of vitamin K which is not absorbed properly by the placenta when the baby is in the womb. Lack of vitamin K in the body can lead to extensive bruising from just a minor injury. Not only that, a lack of vitamin K can also cause small wounds to continue to bleed. To meet the needs of vitamin K, newborns are usually given an injection of vitamin K. As they get older, vitamin K can be obtained from bacteria in the intestines and foods consumed daily, such as spinach, broccoli, soybeans, meat, eggs, liver, and fish. Benefits of Vitamin K in Newborns the benefits of vitamin K for newborns are to prevent bleeding in various organs of the body, such as the brain, stomach and intestines. Bleeding due to vitamin K deficiency is called vitamin K deficiency bleeding, VKDB. The risk for a baby to get VKDB is higher if he has certain medical conditions, such as biliary atresia, hepatitis, chronic diarrhea, and a deficiency of the enzyme trypsin. This risk does not only occur in the first days after the baby's birth, but until the baby can consume solids or when he is six months old. If bleeding occurs in parts of the brain, the baby is at risk of permanent brain damage. Apart from the brain, bleeding can also be experienced by babies in other parts of the body, such as the gastrointestinal tract, nose, nosebleeds, to the umbilical cord. Babies who experience heavy bleeding often need blood transfusions or even have to undergo surgery. How to meet the needs of vitamin K in newborns? Bleeding due to vitamin K deficiency can be easily prevented. The trick is to give an injection of vitamin K into the baby's thigh muscle immediately after he is born. Sometimes injecting vitamin K can be postponed for up to six hours after the baby is born so that the mother can initiate early breastfeeding first. After injection, most of the vitamin K is stored in the liver and used in the blood clotting process. Giving vitamin K can be done in another way, namely dripping vitamin K supplements in the form of drops. However, its absorption is less good when compared to vitamin K given by injection. Therefore, so far the most common way to give vitamin K to newborns is by injection. Apart from injections, intake of vitamin K in newborns can also be obtained from breast milk. Buswe can provide exclusive breastfeeding to meet your little one's vitamin K needs, even though the amount of vitamin K contained in breast milk is only small. Just like adults, babies may experience pain at the injection site. To relieve the pain felt by the baby when the injection is given, ask the doctor or midwife to give the injection while the baby is breastfeeding. Vitamin K has been shown to be safe and essential for newborns. If you have questions about the administration and benefits of vitamin K, consult your doctor again for further explanation. <laughs>